हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरानने फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चॅनल टीच इजी इन दिस व्हिडिओ वी विल सी हाऊ टू फाइंड आउट द शिअरिंग स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द बोल्ट इन द प्रिवियस व्हिडिओ वी सॉ द डिफरंट मोड्स ऑफ फेल्युअर ऑफ बोल्टेड कनेक्शन द बोल्टेड कनेक्शन मे फेल ड्यू टू फेल्युअर ऑफ बोल्ट or due to failure of plate the majority of failures are due to failure of bolt okay let us see one by one how to find out shearing strength of bolt in this video okay so let us start now as per clause number 10.3 of is 800 2007 the nominal shear strength of bolt is given by v n s b n for nominal s for shear b for bolt is equal to f u b divided by root 3 into bracket n n into a n b plus n s into a s b now let us see what are the meaning of different terms used in this particular formula v n s b is nominal shear strength of the bolt f u b is ultimate stress in the bolt n n is number of shear planes intersecting the threads n s is number of shear planes which do not intersect the threads a n b is net area at the root of the threads of the bolt and a s b is nominal shank area of the bolt okay this asb can be calculated as pi d square by 4 and this if not given will be multiplied by 0.78 which we saw in the previous video okay i will repeat the terms once again fub ultimate stress in the material of the bolt n n number of shear planes intersecting the threads n s number of shear planes which do not intercept the thread a n b is net tensile area of the bolt or it is area at the root of the threads of the bolt this is less a s b is plain shank area of the bolt where there are no threads this area is calculated as pi d square by 4 where d is the nominal diameter of the bolt okay now this is nominal shear strength when we want to calculate design shear strength we have to apply the partial factor of safety therefore design shear strength of bolt is v d s b d for design n for nominal is equal to v n s b that is nominal shear strength of the bolt divided by partial factor of safety for bolt and for bolt we know that partial factor of safety is 1.25 therefore vdsb is equal to vnsb divided by 1.25 so if you put this 1.25 here the final formula for vdsb is equal to fub upon root 3 multiplied by 1.25 into bracket nn into anb plus ns into asb now we know that if the plates are connected by lap joint those bolts will be subjected to single shear or if 
the bolts are used for single cover butt joint then also the bolt will be subjected to single shearing and in that case total number of planes is equal to 1 that is nn plus ns is equal to 1 nn means the planes which intercept the threads ns means the planes which do not intercept the threads as it is single shearing total number of shear planes are 1 okay in case of double cover but joint when there is a cover plate below the plates and above the plates the bolts are subjected to double shearing in that case nn plus ns is equal to 2 now mind well in case of the example if there is no clear cut mention regarding whether the threads are intercepting or not then in that case you have to always assume that the shearing planes are passing through the threads okay if it is clearly mentioned in the example that the plane is not passing or not intercepting the thread then you will take that value of ns do you understand this so this formula is very simple actually this is a force force is equal to stress multiplied by area this is area this is area so its unit will be newton okay f u b is ultimate stress in the material of the bolt net area at the thread of the bolt gross area of the bolt shear planes intercepting the threads shear planes not intercepting the threads do you understand this now using this formula you will get very clear regarding how to determine the shear strength of bolt therefore now let us take the example calculate the strength of 16 mm diameter bolt nominal diameter of the bolt is given 16 mm of grade that is property class 4.6 if it is in three different conditions are given so these are three different problems you can see if it is in first case single shear second case double shear third case double shear with only one shear plane intercepts threads now you can see in these three conditions only in third condition it is clearly mentioned that one plane is intercepting the threads in other two case cases there is no clear cut mention regarding whether the shear planes are intercepting or not so in these two cases you have to assume that whatever planes are there those planes are intercepting the threads take a and b that is area at the root of the thread as 157 mm square if this value is not given you can find out the area and multiply it by 0.78 okay so let us see how to solve this problem you have to find out the shear strength of the bolt in three different conditions now first it is given that grade of the bolts is 4.6 for 4.6 grade bolts, FUB, ultimate stress in the material of the bolt is equal to what I have told you, this first digit multiply by 100, that is 400 Newton per mm square. And then for FYB, that is yield stress in the bolt, this 400 multiplied by the remaining 0.6, that is 240 Newton per mm square. Similarly, we know that partial factor of safety for the material of the bolt is 1.25. Okay. Now, let us take the first case. It is clearly mentioned that in first case, the bolt is in single shear. Now, as it is in single shear, Nn plus Ns is equal to 1. 
Nothing is mentioned about the shear planes. So, Nn will be equal to 1. Therefore, Ns will be definitely 0. If nothing is clearly mentioned, you have to take Ns is equal to 0. So, you can get Nn. Now, Vdsb is equal to Vnsb upon gamma Mb, nominal shear strength of bolt upon partial factor of safety. What is Vnsb? Fub into bracket Anb into Nn plus Ns into Asb upon root 3 into gamma Mb. Now, what is the value of Fub? 400, put it here. Nn is equal to 1. Anb is equal to 157 given. Ns is 0, so this second term will be 0. So, 0 divided by root 3 into gamma Mb 1.25. And why this 10 raised to 3 is given? Because this answer will be in Newton. So, if you divide this by 10 raised to 3, that is 1000, the answer which you will get will be directly in kilo Newton. That is, the value of this is 29 kilo Newton. Do you follow this? So, design shear strength of the bolt in first case is 29 kilo newton. Now let us see what will happen in second case. In second case, double shear is given. So Nn plus Ns is equal to 2. Nothing is mentioned. So Ns is equal to 0. So Nn is equal to 2. Now again the formula will be same. This value will not change. Okay. Nn will be 2 instead of 1. This will be 0. All other values will be same. Therefore, VDSB will be, in this case, double shear. It will be two times VDSB in single shear. So, VDSB is equal to 2 into 29. That is 58 kilo Newton. If you have not followed, what you will do? Put the values in this formula. FUB is 400. Here, NN will be 2 multiplied by 157, Ns is 0, so this will be 0, divided by root 3, divided by 1.25, and to convert it into kilo Newton, divide by 1000, so here into, 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 so only 1 is replaced by 2, so it will be directly double, that is 58 kilo Newton. So strength in double shear is 58 kilo Newton. Now the third case, again it is in double shear, but there is a difference between this case and this case. Out of two shear planes, what is given? Only one shear plane intercepts threads. So, what is the case in this? Look here now. Here, Nn plus Ns is equal to 2 because it is in double shear. In this case, it is clearly mentioned that one plane intercept the threads. Means out of two planes, Nn is equal to 1. Therefore, Ns is equal to 1. Okay? So, when you will write the formula, you will come to know that you will have to calculate Asb, which is not given in this. Asb means plane shank area, that is pi into d square Diameter of the bolt is 16 by 4, that is 201 mm square. Now, design shear strength of the bolt is equal to FUB into bracket NN into ANB plus NS into ASB upon root 3 into gamma MB. Directly design shear strength formula I am using. This FUB value is given 400. This is root 3 as usual, 1.25 as usual and 10 raised to 3 to convert the answer of in kilo Newton. Now, see in the numerator. What is value of Nn? 1. What is Anb? Given 157. What is value of Ns? 1. What is Asb? 201. Now, whatever is the value here, definitely this value will be more Okay, do you understand this? And if you calculate this, you will come to know that the design shear strength of the bolt will be 66.14 kilo Newton. In this manner, you can find out 
the design shear strength of bolt for that purpose what you should know the type of connection you must know to decide whether the bolt is in single shearing or double shearing then if nothing is clearly mentioned regarding the shear planes then you have to take ns is equal to 0 okay so nn will be the planes which are intercepting the threads do you understand this so in this manner we can find out the shear strength of the bolt in the next video we will see how to find out the strength of the bolt in bearing do you follow this okay thank you